Hello everyone. So in today's video, we're just going to run through some of the accessories I use to help with my hand function. I haven't actually got any hand function myself, but I have a range of different things that I use to help me with my day-to-day -day tasks and we're going to run through some of them and see how they might help you. So let's start with how I eat. Obviously we go out for food fairly often. I always get questions how or how my fork works. So basically it just slips straight onto my hand. It's interchangeable. There's a, a, a plastic uh, covering there that you can slide a fork into or a spoon which is also quite handy if you do go out to a restaurant and if you've got on your particular fork you can just use one of theirs and, and sort of slide it in or depending on what you're eating if you're yeah eating something where you need a fork or you you decide that you want a soup for dinner you can just slide a slide a spoon in there you don't have to take loads of different pieces of equipment with you so yeah it's quite nice quite tidy sturdy and I've used this thing for years I'll put a link in the description where I get mine from I think they're from an American company that I get mine but you can shop around on Amazon to find them anywhere I have found though wherever we've looked they're I don't know about 30 odd quid so they're not cheap cheap but yeah they're really good and long lasting I've, I've had these for years so yeah check them out so now we're gonna move on to finger splints things like this little gem I use these pretty much every day to use things like my iPad or my laptop or my phone anything and I've been through a whole range of different uh, different ones I used to have a um, purpose-built splints when I was in the hospital and I had that for years and eventually it broke and then I was trying to find a replacement and stumbled across this one recently which I quite like because it's very little very subtle when you're out and about not everyone's staring at your hand thinking you've broken something so yeah no this one's this one's really good it literally just slides straight onto your finger and rests just on the back of the knuckle to basically when I put any pressure on a button or on my phone when I'm clicking something it just stops my knuckle from bending keeps my finger nice and straight and yeah easy to use technology also got this one as I said I've tried loads of different ones in the past and at the moment I still use this one sometimes it kind of just yeah finger slides onto the uh, onto the thing there and then you velcro it over the top and it's I guess a bit more rigid and firmer than the other one so if I'm going to be on my laptop for a long time or I'm doing a lot of typing this one's quite good because it yeah it just supports my finger a bit better um, yeah, and the smaller ones may be really good for being on your phone or iPad, but if you're actually pressing buttons, this one's, yeah, really good. I'll put the link in the description where I got these two, but if you just type in finger splints on Amazon, there's loads of different uh, varieties. You can pick any that you feel would be good for you, and they, yeah, ranging in prices. I know these two weren't particularly expensive, but yeah, there's some that are really, really expensive or some that, yeah, aren't expensive, but it's all personal choice so whatever you think would work for you go for it so some of the stuff I use to exercise um, these mitts that I've had about nine years now from an amazing company called active hands uh, I use them for my hand bike so I strap my hands to it and do the cycle or weights obviously this one's just for video purposes when I'm down the gym I'm normally lifting human beings not weights so yeah really really good really useful <laughs> anything heavy you want to pick up these are perfect as I said I've had these about nine years now and they still look pretty much brand new so very 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 good we'll put their link in the description as well amazing company and a brilliant story behind them as well so check them out for sure and this is how I brush my teeth obviously I need someone to give you a hand to put the the actual toothbrush into the into the strap and then onto my hand put some toothpaste on the end and press go but once that's done, I can yeah do it, do it myself after that. Obviously, ideally I would be able to turn it on, on myself, but the strap kind of gets in the way. Plus, if you put the toothpaste on, then turn it on, the toothpaste is going to go absolutely everywhere before I've got it in my mouth. So, yeah, I do need help putting it on, doing the rest of it. But, well, yeah, once it's all there, you get the idea. Easy. So, how I write, obviously, I don't have to write that often but if I do this is how I do it it's just something I stumbled across a few years ago because I couldn't hold a, hold a pen the, the normal way so I just wedged it between my fingers and it kind of holds it fairly tight and works for signing birthday Christmas cards all that sort of stuff um, yeah so signatures and yeah no really 
simple way to hold a pen. I haven't got the neatest handwriting in the world. I don't know if that's got anything to do with the way I hold a pen, but at school it weren't great either. It might not work for everyone, but if it works for you, go for it. I'm sure there's other splints maybe out there that I could or should be using, but for what I need it for, this seems to do the trick. Thanks for watching guys. I uh, hope that was somewhat useful. Uh, and if, there, if you have any questions about some of the stuff that I'm using, please comment below and let us know and I'll, I'll be happy to answer. Or, or if you're using anything at the moment that you think I should be trying and that might make my life slightly easier, again, please comment below because we'd love to, love to hear it. Thank you for watching. If you don't hate what you see, like and subscribe.